Good afternoon everyone this is Mayank from Grow Your Paisa Yesterday SEBI has brought a new consultation paper on strengthening corporate governance for listed entities The main objective of this uh, paper is to you know is to give more rights to shareholders while they also want to increase you know more corporate disclosures on agreements especially which companies usually have with the with the external parties so uh, the three three main uh, outcome of that paper you know which they which they have uh, uh, shared yesterday the first one is that you know the listed entity must disclose any agreement which can impact management or the control of the company at times it has been seen you know that the companies you know end up you know having the uh, some kind of agreements with the external uh, parties you know which probably in the end you know leads to the dilution of the promoter stake or the control in, in inevitably goes to some other companies so that's why you know the regulator has now you know asked you know the listed entities to ensure that all these any such agreement you know should be disclosed to the stock exchanges well on time so that you know all the investors have a prior knowledge on how this can impact the management or the control of the company in the future the second a uh, change that they have sought is you know to uh, you know to basically ask for the shareholder approval for for giving any special rights to certain shareholders like promoters you know what happened you know that at times is that in you know, the promoters you know they have a you know kind of perpetual you know rights or there are some special rights you know uh, you know being given to them and and despite they are not a majority shareholder anymore they still continue to enjoy you know the this these kind of privileges you know which has been granted to them by the board and hence you know what they have uh, what sebi has now said is that you know is any such rights you know should be subject to shareholder approval once in at least every 5 years so that's a that's a good change which they have brought you know to ensure that uh, promoters and other you know big investors don't you know have those special rights you know to uh, to influence you know any major decision making that the company is sought is out to seek a uh, third you know uh, again it is related to the directors you know so the third uh, again the, a new norm that, that they want to bring is that you know that, that shareholder approval must be mandatory for any director which is serving on listed companies board you know uh, once in every 5 years this they want to start you know from april 2024 and this this entire thing has been done to do away with the anomaly the directors have been accorded protection via articles of association you know specifying its governance and operations you know and as not liable to retirement by rotation and without any defined tenure so such kind of uh, you know uh, you know any any such kind of uh, seat on the board should 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 go for shareholder approval in every 5 years so all in all these 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 uh, these three rules primarily uh, aims to improve disclosures and ensure that you know no uh, no per, no person or the party or the institution you know continues you know to uh, have an influence you know on the company's uh, major strategy goals and also ensure that investors have you know full knowledge of what's happening you know no 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 behind the you know behind the curtains you know when it comes to the company's uh, strategic goals so with this i just want to uh, conclude this thank you very much bye